Hey, what's up, everybody? RJ back with another video. And um, for those of you that was waiting for my next video, I do apologize. Um, any of you that have me on Facebook or on uh, Twitter a little bit know um, that I'm going through some stuff uh, personally with my family and stuff. And uh, it's been a pretty rough week uh, for me. Um, but for those of you who watch this video, thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you could, please give this video a thumbs up. I will definitely be um, putting up more videos this week, uh, as long as things don't go crazy or nothing. So thank you for uh, watching this, and if you could, give it a thumbs up. Um, for those of you who have been following me, uh, know that I've been talking a lot about you know future plans for The Rock's next match. Because, I mean, I'm, I'm a big... Wayne Johnson fan as far as acting goes and I'm a big rock fan have been since I was you know a little bitty kid so um for a while there the plan it seemed like it was going to be Brock versus Rock even up to one of his recent interviews with um I forget who it was something in Miami some some uh journalist in Miami did an interview with him and they brought up Will you face Brock Lesnar? Will that happen next year? And The Rock said, oh, you never know. He kind of teasing us for that match. But so, so I talked about that a little bit. But since then, there was a, um, well, before that, I'm sorry. Before that, there was a segment on SmackDown for like the anniversary of SmackDown where uh, The Rock and Triple H kind of got, you know, face to face, so to speak. And um, for a while there, people were talking about Triple H versus Rock. So um, what I got now is an update for you guys. I'll put everything in detail in the description box, but this is basically the gist of it. All right. Um, the original plan was Triple H versus The Rock for WrestleMania 31. Um, due to Fast 7 getting pushed back and other things coming up, um, The Rock schedule wouldn't allow him to really prepare for the match because he did Saturday Night Live the Saturday before WrestleMania. So he flew from New York to California for WrestleMania to do the little segment with Stephanie and Ronda Rousey and Triple H. Um, so the plan had to change. So they, they brought in Sting versus Triple H. What they originally were planning to do with Sting, I'm not sure. Maybe we were supposed to have Sting versus Taker this year and it just never happened. Maybe they were you know, juggling a few ideas. But the original plan was for Triple H to face The Rock, you know, the one last time at WrestleMania. Um, and... That had to change because of the rock stuff, um, but they did give us that little that little segment at WrestleMania, kind of building a bridge for the op opportunity next year. As of right now, what you know in the wrestling business and sports entertainment business, stuff changes all the time. But as of right now, the plan is for the Rock to face Triple H next year at WrestleMania, and for it to be a um, one, you know, one last time kind of thing, you know, one last time you'd see the game versus the rock, uh, one of the biggest rivalries of both their careers. And as of right now, that's what we're planning on seeing next year. Will that change? I'm not sure, but the build up between the rock and triple H, they're trying to keep that, you know, keep that going here a little bit by a little bit until the, you know, the time for it to actually happen. So we'll see. Um, I personally am looking forward to this match. If it does happen, uh, it's all going to come down to the Rock's um, schedule at this point, uh, but Creative's pretty determined to make this happen. I heard Triple H is really, you know, trying to make this happen, and the Rock's all for it as of right now. So maybe next year at WrestleMania 32, the Rock versus Triple H. Let me know in the description box what you think, or send me a tweet at xrjx720 on Twitter, or on Facebook, or whatever. It don't matter. However you want to get a hold of me, but um. Give this video a thumbs up if you can, and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Have a good one.